Now it's time for your news break. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Derek Brizendine with the Daily Star Journal's News Break. Early details are sketchy, but what is known is that a shooting at 338 East Market Street, about two blocks west of Sterling Elementary School, left a van wounded. In Saturday's paper, Jack Miles looks back on one of the featured booths at this year's Bergfest. Also in Saturday's paper, see why a replica arc landed in Warrensburg. In sports, we start things off on the pitch for Warrenburg at St. Paul Lutheran in Concordia. Assistant coach Fred Cooler filling in for head coach Brian Olivas, who served a one-game suspension due to a red card that he received in the game before. 36th minute, Ryan Russell's shot goes just over the top of the goal as the score remained tied at zero. 49th minute now, Cade Peterson is fouled in the box setting up a Ryan Russell penalty kick to make it 1-0 Warrensburg. St. Paul Lutheran scored in the 61st minute to level the game, but that was the last goal scored in regulation and overtime as the game went to penalty kicks. Warrensburg netted four goals out of the five attempts, but St. Paul netted all five goals to win 5-4 in penalty kicks. With just over two weeks left, in the high school football regular season, let's get to the Friday Night Football Preview Board to see what Week 8 holds. Warrensburg looks to get back to 500 as it hosts Nevada. Crestridge goes for its first I-70 conference title since 2013 as it hits the road to take on Concordia. For the first time in school history, Chelhowe is ranked number 10 in the state and will host number 2 Sacred Heart. Holden goes on the road to Carrollton, and Nob Noster hits the road to take on Richmond. All games are set to start at 7 p.m. To the college football preview board now, as Central Missouri looks to bounce back after narrowly falling to Northwest Missouri State last week at Arrowhead, as the Mules travel to take on the Nebraska Kearney Lopers. A reminder that nomination submissions for Tony's Market and Tony's Restaurant October 2nd through 7th Athlete of the Week opens at 5 p.m. on Friday and closes at 9 p.m. on Sunday. Voting then opens at noon on Monday and closes at noon on Friday. In this week's Saturday Star Standout, we look at how the Crestridge community helped raise more than $5,000 during its Battle for Bryn campaign. That's all we have for you now. Find more news and feature stories in Saturday's Daily Star Journal. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend.